five for five. I think I know you've had five hits before. I don't know if you were five for five. I have to double check that. But just what I know you're a good hitter. But what would you, what were your thoughts on going five for five? Oh uh, yeah, just um, first off, super proud of our team uh, for being able to come out there last midweek and and get that win. But uh, just trying to keep it simple, not trying to do too much, stay in the middle of the field, and felt like I did a really good job of that today. And um, you know, that's pretty much all I can ask for. Just trying to make hard contact up the middle, and uh, it's just trying to keep it as simple as possible, not trying to do too much. That's kind of my approach today. You mentioned midweek. Seems like every uh, midweek you check and somebody ranked high or somebody pretty good is losing a midweek game. It just happens when you play that many. You guys avoided that uh, this year. What, what do you think was the key to that? And how good do you feel about that? Yeah, I think it just speaks to us coming out every day and, and playing. You know, we have a lot of depth on, on both sides of, of the ball. And uh, I just think that guys just want to keep, keep like, just – getting in and, and having the opportunity and, you know, a guy like Piro who uh, hasn't like played a ton and he comes in there, he's like, looks great. Um, you know, he's just, when his name's called, he just wants to go out there and, and do what he can for us to win. But it's uh it, they can get kind of draggy and stuff. I thought we've done a really good job all year just showing up to the ballpark and playing a hundred percent. And, um, you know, that's, it's all we can ask for. Yeah. I think you threw on, on Saturday, obviously in the a little bit shorter rest. Just how did you feel today? What was working for you? Yeah, no, I felt great today going out there. Um, I think that uh, I did a good job in my um, pre-outing bullpen with Parker. Uh, did a really good job, us two, kind of connecting and figuring out what pitches were working today. And uh, then when we got out there, obviously, uh, I think his pitch calling was awesome. And uh, I've got a lot of confidence in Parker. Uh, he's my locker neighbor, so we're always kind of talking pitching and whatnot. And, like, and he's telling me, like, get the curveball in the dirt. And, like, I have full faith that he's going to, you know, keep it in front of him, which he did uh, twice tonight. So I think that a lot of it was was Parker and the connection we have for sure. Parker, just what did you think of his start today? Yeah, I thought he was really good. You know, before the game, we talked about uh, attacking hitters and getting ahead in the count. And, you know, he went out there and executed. You know, he wasn't afraid and got ahead and stayed ahead for the most part. And, you know, I think all the way around on the mound today, we did a good job of that. So, Do you feel like today was maybe an audition for you to become a pinch runner in the future? Yeah. So what, what did you think of your performance probably today? Not, probably not. Sure. No, it was good. It was good to, to get a stolen bag under my belt, though, for sure. Why the hell did you assess your start today? Yeah, no, I think I did a good job, like Parker said, getting ahead of hitters and uh, staying ahead. I uh, almost made a few pitches there. Um, I'd like to have back, but um, I think I did a good job keeping the ball down and on the corners and uh, just uh, thought I made some good pitches and uh, some good counts. You, do you feel ready for Sunday if needed? For sure. If needed. And uh, you had that that six pitch inning in the top of the fourth. Uh, how how great was it for, for that to, like, even though you're probably about to hit your pitch count, but, like, that, that kind of just, like, kind of saved you some pitches there yeah no those are huge uh obviously you know, the leadoff gets on with the hit and then uh guy smokes a change up and off the bat i didn't think it was standing in the infield i turned back and stovall's getting a glove on it so that's a good feeling and then obviously you're up back in the mound and the wind up with two outs like that uh this gives you a lot of confidence kind of that spark to you know get that third out ben uh dave has been up here saying you know talking about parker's catching ability behind the plate just i guess what makes him specifically unique or special behind the plate yeah i mean i think uh you know he just knows pitches really well and his pitch calling is really good and uh he knows you know what pitches each day are on and off and um i mean there's some times where like you know maybe for example like in the fall i love it when he does this he'll call a full count curveball and when you kind of shake and tell him, yes, he kind of smacks his glove. And, like, he just, you can tell he's a lot of confidence in the pitchers. And uh, that, that's huge. And I just – I think we connect really well when it comes to pitch calling. And I'm usually kind of pre-gripping a, a grip in my, in my glove, and he ends up calling it. And I'm like, all right, here we go. So, yeah, a lot of it um, is, is Parker and, and the job he does back there. It's huge. Well, Parker, is the game calling skill something you've always had or is it something that you've picked up since you've been here or something you've picked up this year? Or just uh, kind of... I think it's definitely something that you just continue learning. You know, I'm still learning and getting better at it. But, you know, I, I from a young age, I had a coach, Mark Redman, he played in the big leagues, pitched in the big leagues for 10 years. And that was kind of the first guy who taught me a lot about how to call a game and how to work with pitchers and stuff. And so, you know, I credit him to a lot of a lot of my success back there with pitch calling. But, you know, I definitely feel like from being here with Coach Hobbs and DJ and, and Barr, you know, they've they've helped me tremendously back there. And, you know, uh, connecting with these guys on a day to day basis helps too. catching their pins trying to work my butt off for them any chance I can, so. Yeah, Parker, you, you, you know, you're playing maybe once on a weekend or here and there, but you always seem ready and you've had some good offensive games. Well, what's the key to, to when you're not playing every day to, to being successful? 
I think you just have to have a good routine. You know, you have to show up to the park like you're playing every single day. And if you're not, you know, you got to be the best teammate you can be. So for me, it's getting to the yard and just just doing my work for that day. And then, you know, if I'm in the lineup, great. If I'm not, I'm I'm there cheering on my guys and seeing what I can do to to help them out. So. And what was that your first? Uh, I should have looked it up. Was that was that? I your think first? here, yeah. I think that was my first one. Did you have some at other places? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a couple. Okay. <laughs> Not many, but a couple. And then for for, for, for you and Ben, what what you think about uh, Peyton's five for five day? What what you see from him? Just thoughts on that? Unbelievable. You know, Stovall's my my roommate on the road, so we get to talk hitting a lot. And you know, he's a great hitter, and I'd say he's helped me a lot since I've been here too. You know, I think. He's going to play baseball for a long time and, and watching him go about his day to day business is uh is pretty special. So, you know, I'm not surprised by it, to be honest with you. I know you're a pitcher. But yeah, <laughs> no, I thought he put put some really good swings in the ball and kept up the middle. And uh, obviously five for five is pretty impressive. But um, I think Stovall's, you know, a great hitter and has a really good swing and he works his tail off to, to have days like this. So uh, I'm just happy for him. You guys are getting ready to go to Kentucky. You're both 16 and five, leading each of your divisions. Um, just what, what what are your thoughts? Maybe just go across the way there. Just what are your thoughts on going there? And you know, I know every series is big, but these are the two division leaders going at it. Yeah, I think just taking it game by game and not making the moment bigger than it, than it is. You know, obviously Kentucky's a really good team. Um, they've played well all year, and um, you know they're. Uh, just like pretty much every team in the country, they're probably better at home. And so it's uh, it's going to be fun, and we're looking forward to it. Um, but, you know, kind of like I just said, like, don't try to make it bigger than it is. Just take it pitch by pitch. And I think we've done a good job of that this year, and hopefully we can, t we can continue to do that. I mean, he took the words right out of my mouth there. <laughs> she got by. Yeah, <laughs> same thing like he said, just focus on what's important, you know, next pitch, next game, not try and look in the future. And uh, obviously they're a great ball club and playing playing well, so it's going to be a really good, really good challenge for us. Yep. I haven't scouted them much, but Kentucky is a team that runs a lot. Um, Curious Parker and then Ben also just what, what when you're facing a team that runs a lot, just what, what are the keys as uh, from a catcher's perspective and then also a pitcher's perspective? Yeah, from a catcher's perspective, I'd say just mixing in some picks, quick picks, inside or uh, quick picks, hold picks and stuff. And, you know, on the mound, those guys switching up their timing and stuff and switching up their leg lifts, going slide step every once in a while, just kind of keeping them off balance. Yeah, like Parker said, uh, obviously knowing who the runners are uh, when they come to the plate, you know, they can always bunt. You know, that risk is there. And then, like you said, you know, vary your time and vary your looks, vary your, you know, leg lift, you know, you know, deliver, you know, try not, you know, make the same type of delivery home uh, every once in a while, switch it up and uh, just make it make it harder for them to get a good jump. Peyton, they have a turf field. I'm just curious, how how different is that from what you're used to, you know, with, with dirt and everything? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's going to be a little different, but I think like our indoor facility, that helps a lot. Being able to practice in there as much as we have. Um, just, just always taking ground balls in there. Um, but you know, kind of like coach Van Horn said, it's, it's pretty similar turf. So we'll, we'll go fly out tomorrow and, um, you know, probably take some ground balls, hit, do all that stuff at their park, but it's, uh, it's going to be fun looking forward to it and, um, you know, just play good baseball. When you're four for four, do you go up there? Thinking, man, I really want to get another hit, go five for five, or kind of what, what's what's the thought process? I think it just goes back to like kind of what I said earlier with like not trying to do too much, like just stay with my approach and um, just stand in the middle of the park. Um, that's that's kind of like a big been like a big big focus for me. Um, you know, try to do too much, start pulling off the ball. Uh, you're a little late on pitches you should be hitting, just stuff like that. So, uh, just taking like a nice swing and and uh, just trying to stay to the middle, but. Uh, I mean, that definitely happens. Um, it, it can, but, you know, kind of going up there, that, that fifth at bat, just trying to stay in the middle of the park. And, you know, if, if I would have lined out, I would have been perfectly okay with it just because I know that my approach was was right, and um, it's, you know, all you can do. But the fact it was a line drive hit, when you run down first going, oh, that's pretty nice, five for five, or kind of what's, what's your thoughts? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it, it was pretty nice, May I guess, maybe – Wish kind of a couple might have went to like a little bit more left, right, center, maybe got a couple extra base hits. But other than that, um, no, I mean, I was pretty excited. I was glad and I'm just glad we won. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing. So it was nice to be able to have a game like that and also win. You slid that time. What happened on the, the pops? Yeah. So um, I was, that yeah, was pretty embarrassing. Um, I, uh, so I, I got still, it was like a delayed still. And, um, I saw right before I took off, I saw the ball in the dirt and I thought that it bounced away and I, I didn't hear anybody like say down or anything. It was like quiet when I was running. So I was like, okay, I'm just like, there's the balls away. 
whatever. And, you know, next thing you know, he slapped a tag on me. And I was like, no, oh, that this looks terrible. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the thought process. All right, guys. Appreciate it.